Hi guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you're all doing well today. Um, today we're going to be working on a paper chain snake craft. Now today the supplies are very limited, you don't need much to do this. You'll just need some paper to cut out and turn into the loops, some markers, crayons, pencils, anything you'd like to decorate, and some glue to attach it all together, and scissors to cut everything out. Now, in order to make the craft, basically all you'll end up needing is paper strips. These could all be the same color, they can be different color, however you would like. Um, I only suggest that you try to keep them similar in thickness and length in order to make the snake look more uniform, but as always, that's completely up to you how you would like it to be. For my strips, I took a piece of construction paper and cut it along this way. That's the length that seemed to work best for me for making the loops. And for this, you can use as many colors as you'd like. If you want to use one color, if you want to use a rainbow of colors, that is completely up to you. For this craft, I do suggest that you use a piece of paper um, as like a placemat to work on, just so that way the glue and the markers we're using don't get on the surface that you're working on. It's just a way of making cleanup easier later on. So what you'll need to do is cut out a bunch of these strips. You can cut out however many as you would like, it all depends on how long you want your snake to be. And after you have these strips all cut out, you can design them however you would like. Just because snakes have scales doesn't mean yours needs to have scales. This one's going to have hearts and stripes and these little loops, which I think is the easiest way to make scales. To me, these kind of look like scales without having to draw them on individually. To do that, I just make these little loops. The glue stick went in the way. <laughs> I make these little loops like this, and the fun thing is that these are pretty quick, and to me, these little loops there kind of look like snake scales. This is another reason we have the paper down, because this way you can draw right over it, and you don't have to worry about it getting all over the table. I speak from experience because I have gotten a lot of craft supplies all over the table. Now, to make the loops, all you're gonna have to do is take your glue stick or your liquid glue, whatever you're using. I think a glue stick works best for this because then you don't have that drying time. Take a line right across here and glue, glue just like that. And then you're gonna just bring it around, stick it on, press, and you have your first loop. In order to do the next loop, all you're gonna do is repeat the same process a little bit of glue, but instead of making the loop, you're gonna tuck it in. So have the pretty side out, find your glue, and then press right there. And basically, you're just going to repeat this process until your snake is done, or till it reaches the desired length. Now, I did a couple of these loops off camera already in order to make it just go a little bit faster. If you do this and you wanna conjoin snakes or you wanna make it longer, all you need to do, glue, and loop it through, and loop it through. And this just connects them like that. Bam. Big ol' snake. Now I did multiple patterns, I did hearts, I did stripes, I just thought that was fun. Now, you could use googly eyes for this, you could draw right on the snake head, but I went out and I cut these two little circles. I just think that's gonna pop a lot better. Hmm, what color head should we have on this one? I'm thinking pink, let's go with pink. Now, I don't use patterns for this, I just sort of look at how long the snake is, and for this one I went for sort of an egg shape. That seems to work the best. So you're just gonna kind of freehand. You could always trace something if you would like to, but this doesn't have to be perfect. Every snake is different. And if yours looks a little lopsided or if it is a perfect circle, that is all up to you. So see, that looks like a head shape. <laughs> and then I'm gonna glue down my eyes. I think right about there would look nice. Yeah. Stick them on. <laughs> and again, this is another great time for customization. If you want to give it a funny expression, if you want to 
give it multiple eyes, one eye, whatever you want. This is completely up to you. I'm gonna finish drawing the pupils on. Um, you know what, I'm gonna give them swirl eyes. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems like the right thing to do. And then I like to do these little dots for the snake nose. You don't have to, but you can. And then up here is also fun because this is another chance for customization. I'm gonna do some lines. Yeah, I think that looks pretty neat. And then to attach it, all you're gonna do is pick which end you would like the head to be on. I'm thinking maybe this one. Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks nice. I think it's easier if you glue onto the head instead of gluing onto the tube. Just cover it like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm gonna stick it on right there and just press and hold from the top. There you go. Looks pretty good. And then I think for fun, I'm gonna add a little snake tongue. Just take a scrap of red paper if you have it laying around, or if you don't wanna use red, that's also completely fine. There are no rules for snakes. <laughs> and again, for this, I didn't use a template. Um, I normally don't. I found the easiest way to cut this way, this way, okay? And then you can just go like this. Snake tongue. You can make it like this, or you could do it this way where I just went around and I rounded out the edges, but this way will work too. Cap on the glue got stuck. <laughs> and then stick it on. I'm gonna stick it a little bit on the side. There we go. And then if you would like for the tail of the snake, you can leave it just like this, or you can take one of your existing strips here, cut it a little bit shorter, probably about there will do. It doesn't have to be too much. And this just kind of creates a little button on the end, just to kind of, like see here, we did this. It just makes the end look a little bit more distinct. Just something fun that I found. Tack it on. And there we have it. We have a little snake. And the fun thing with this is you can make it as long as you want, you can make it as short as you want, you can make this take as much time as you'd like. It all depends on the amount of detail and how much decorating you wanna do. So um, I hope you guys make this. I hope you guys have fun watching this. And if you do make this, I hope to see the photos in the comments. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for joining me. Bye.